total of a year ago. And he hits that high and deep to left field. Dickerson, a long run, long run, and he can't get there. Nork and Jankowski. Uh oh. Dickerson is having trouble getting up, and Jankowski finally hustles the ball in. It'll be a triple for Cozart. And there's no question Dickerson, who has been the Padres' uh, hottest power hitter, took the worst of that collision at the wall. It was just perfectly hit between the two outfielders, neither able to get there. And then the ultimate crash. Got him up in the upper right thigh and knee. Wow. That's yeah. like a vicious block in football. I look at that. How does Travis Jankowski get right back on his feet after having a right leg right into the head from Alex Dickerson? Wow, what? Mm. I think I think you know what? After looking at that fall, it looks like the right hit he landed really hard on his right hip. And the play right in front of Kozart. Yeah, that's the kind of uh, ball that winds up an inside the park home run. Jankowski hustling to it and getting it back in limits it to a triple. Now the big question, how serious was that collision to Dirkerson? He's hit so well, home runs in four straight games, batting cleanup tonight. Hey, that's a big boy hitting hard on that track. You know, it's one thing hitting on the grass where it's got a little bit of give, but that warning track out there, that's that's a hard surface. And that is one big kid coming down hard. Yeah, he's in pain as he gets to his feet. You know you wonder through the course of a season with so many balls just intersecting the outfielders and two men on the dead run trying to catch it. Mm -hmm. You can't take time out to slow up to see where the other guy is. It's a wonder it doesn't happen more often. And Alex did a good job going back. He double checked. He flash looked at the wall before he hit the track. And then Travis, no, you know when when Travis Jankowski is trying to intersect with Alex Dickerson, that's a mismatch. Yeah, Travis Jankowski hits the brakes and he slides to try to break. And I'm still amazed that Travis didn't really get shaken up. Yeah, they're looking at his forehead now. Now watch his as he lands, lands on his left hip, right yeah. right hip. Right there. That's a big boy going down hard. Hmm. Jankowski did indeed take a pretty good sock in the upper left forehead. I know there's a lot going on there, but you know what? One thing is that it's, I think is a positive. The spikes of Dickerson were up off the ground when Jankowski hit him. He did not get a foot caught, which I think could be a good thing because remember uh, Kyle Swerber with the Cubs in Arizona this year? Same type of collision. It really was. And he was yep. out for the year. With a torn up knee. Well, Dickerson's going to come out of the game. They'll get an ice pack on that injury as fast as they can. But uh, not so serious that he has to be helped off the field. At least he can make his way on his own. Big screen out in left field replaying the collision. You heard the ooh from the crowd in the background. Christian Bethencourt, the all purpose uh, catcher, utility, relief pitcher. He's going to go in to play left field. At least uh, he was the first to get up to get ready. Well, that's a shame. Dickerson enjoying such uh, terrific success in the last four games nine for 18, four of them home runs. In the last 18 games, hitting 322 to prove himself as a bona fide major leaguer, the power from Poway. And then for this to happen. Hands behind the Padre dugout, first base side, giving him a hand as he comes off. Well, a rough way to start this uh, homestand. Second batter up. Well, that's a good sign, Dick. He's the way he is walking off the field. 